Good morning, crafty friends. How are you all? My name is Lisa Amalad, and I'm a brand ambassador for the Paint Pixie Company. And today we are going to be doing one of their newer kits. It is called the Snow Globe Kit. Let me plug my uh, glue gun in while I am thinking of it. So we are going to be working on this little uh, project together, and I hope that you will enjoy. Um, it is very cute it's really really cute and it's only ten dollars so if you like to get things that you can do with your family or for your family this is a cute one and um at ten dollars you know you can definitely um, afford to get that i would think and um i'm looking for something to put on my desk as a covering we're going to use this <laughs> maybe there we go all right, so we're going to work on this so I don't get everything everywhere. How are you? Hi, Vicki. Hey, Pat. I hope you both are having a good day. Um, I'm a little sleepy again. You know, it's like so much stuff going on around here. Let me tell you what all comes in this kit before I go. You get an 8-inch wood round, okay, an 8-inch wood round. You get two jumbo craft sticks, and this is all going to be put together, and you're going to see how cute it is, right? Two jumbo craft sticks, a five by five stencil, and can you see mine? Wait a minute. <laughs> Goodness, there it is. Mine looks like this, and I absolutely love it. It's definitely a West Virginia snowy scene. A three by three stencil, which we will not be using today, but you can use it on. Um, let me turn it this way so you can read it. Oh, Lord, help me. There you go. Um, you can use this for little cards or tags or anything. Or you could put it on here too if you want, but I'm just going to use the one stencil today. And um, you're going to get uh, white glitter for snow. Look at these little cute things. Oh my goodness. Um, you're going to get force field for, to um, put the snow on with. You're going to get two little mini sponge spouncers, right? And you're going to get some ribbon for hanging. Right? And we'll see if we're going to use this or not. But um, I can put this and this together in one of our um, little tags. And I could make stuff with that, right? So, like, you don't have to use everything on the one project. You can split it apart. And I kind of like doing that, right? So, I think this could be... You know, you can get these little banners. They're a dollar a piece in bundles of five. And so, like, you could get that, and you could make one big snow globe. And then if you get the little um, banners, you can use your small one, and everybody can make a little banner to take home. Or you can even put pretty much most of this picture on a banner, right? So um, that's a good idea. So I will keep that, and we'll see what happens. So... This, like I said, is $10. I think it's a really good little uh, value. And you can gift these. Like, if you don't want to get it for yourself, you can get this. And where it says shipping address, just put your daughter or your son or your um, niece or nephew in college and put their address. And they can have a little kit to make something, right? Okay. So let's get started, shall we? I am going to work with... I'm, I'm thinking I want mine to be blues and white or blues and silver, right? Because I like blue things. We have 30 beautiful colors to pick from. And um, I think, is it 11 metallics, I think? So there's lots and lots of choices. Hey, Melinda, how are you, friend? All right, so I am thinking that I am going to do blue. What blue do I want? Maybe this, I'm thinking. This is called Bon Benny Cocktail, and it's a really, really cute. This kit is really cute, um, Melinda. This would make a nice make and take, you know? I just said before you came on that if you got one of these kits and then you ordered a pack of the banners, that you could make one big thing, but then you could use these banners and your small stencil and your little ribbon, and you could make up, you know, some of these little banners in a make and take you know that that would be super easy okay so i'm going to paint my base blue we're just going to use a bon benny cocktail and you can actually if you want 
you could use one of your little spouncers, but I think I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to, um, which brush do I want to use? I always go for Little D. I usually do. So I'm thinking I'll just bring him out. This is Little D. It's my absolute favorite brush. And I am going to, oh, look, I kind of match my, my, uh, my project today. And I'm going to go, oh, I've got a cat hair on here. Is that a Lisa hair? That's a Lisa hair. <laughs> and I'm going to brush this on my little wooden desk and it's super easy you could definitely do this with a spouncer you can you know what i might try i don't have any baby wipes i just have clorox wipes so i can't i have to get some baby wipes hi priscilla <laughs> it's good to see you my friend um you can stain this using a baby wipe right have you ever done baby wipe staining i'm sure you have and it goes on just super easy and smooth just you know you can do whatever. I think that our brushes are great, so I always like to pull them out and show you how nice they are. I like this little guy because it fits in my hand. It feels comfortable. Um, I've never invested in artist brushes before. I always kind of got like the inexpensive Walmart style ones, which there's no shame in that game, right? But um, little by little, as a Paint Pixie affiliate and then as an ambassador I've been able to grow my stash of wonderful things and these brushes last like forever <laughs> they're so awesome uh, and uh, I built my little collection of brushes so there it is can I keep it at five to six dollars a person um, I, I would I don't know you'd have to think I mean if the kit is ten dollars so if you get a kit and you get five banners you could keep the kit and do the kit maybe as a giveaway, a door prize, or whatever you want to do. But then you could use the banners um, to um, make small little make and take things. And this actually, you know, a good bit of it fits on my um, little banner. But it comes with a small one, a 3x3. Three three. And this, of course, would fit perfectly on here. And then you could put your your ribbon, you could pinch it and make a little bow. We'll do that maybe. We'll see. I don't know how much time this is going to take, but uh, I think that you can. Hey, Cindy. Uh, Y'all got my candle burning. I've got my um, forest sounds on. I'm all set and ready to, you know, get a little bit of quiet time and create here with y'all, right? Okay, so let's dry this. Hi, Karen. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Um... I, I don't know that you could keep it at five to six dollars. That's a really low budget, isn't it? I mean, are you talking about that's what you would charge them or that's what you would pay for the stuff? I think that, you know, I don't know what you're, I don't know. Five and six dollars to do a craft is very, very affordable. You could do that with the minis. You definitely could. So if you get a kit and a pack of minis, you could use the banners. I mean, the banners is what I mean. You could definitely do an inexpensive little make and take. I used to do craft shows, and sometimes at the craft show, I would have a little project. I used I do chalk couture, and so I would have my chalk couture set up, and I would have like the background. Um, I would have the background uh, pre-painted, and then they would come in and they would chalk whatever they wanted, and that was quick and easy. Um, this, you know, it takes a little bit more time. I wouldn't do these as a quickie make and take. I would do it as a sit down. Um, I don't know, Melinda. I'll have to think about that. When I'm live, my brain doesn't function quite as quickly as it is, you know. Um, so We have a lot of kits in our shop now. Excuse me. And you will see me doing those. And um, I think I'm going to just... I shouldn't have put this in the water. I think I'm going to continue with the glue on my little popsicle sticks as well. But um, there's a lot to choose from in there. And those banners, add up. they basically cost you a dollar a piece, right? Um, that's a deal, yo. You know, that's a nice little deal. And, you know, you can get a little spool of ribbon for inexpensive and make something cute. Uh, Josie was saying that we have a gingerbread kit. I was toying with doing that today because you know me and pixie dough but i figured i would maybe save that one for one of my craft around the clock segments 
because um, they haven't seen me use the pixie dough yet and um, but if you are on my page or on the paint pixie page you're going to see like a lot of good things the Christmas banner is 14 and has so many wood cutouts that's right that's your best deal right there so shop the shop my shop look at my link and um, there's a lot of great kits and you know I'm going to break it down and show you all the things but it just takes me time right it just takes me time hi Patty how are you I'm so good how about you are you having a happy good day I'm a little sleepy today I don't know I started taking these melatonin gummies at night and I think they might make me groggy Whew. so all right so I have my snow glove I feel a little something there a little blob of paint so I'm just gonna go around and get any extra paint off so I'm not like contaminating everything with paint and my little this is gonna be like the base of the snow glove right and then we're gonna put that together in a minute because I want to brush this with something else I think I'm gonna brush this maybe with sterling silver and um, put a little bit of that hey Gwen how are you hi Sherry Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. So appreciate it. Y'all, I am doing something amazing with my, um, on my main page, all of my stars go to charity. And I got a message from the second guy that I buy, I get wells made from. Um, you guys are going to flip when you see this one. You are going to flip. And I'm hoping that he does it soon. He does it soon. Uh, this is a second project. I took on, I took, uh, on two big um, charity projects. One is my Christmas gift to myself, doing this charity project. I asked him on, I said, do you want anything for Christmas? And he's like, not really. And I said, me neither, we're gonna do this. And I sent him a thing and I said, please see what you can do to make this happen. And so yesterday he worked with this guy named Bilal and um, it's gonna happen. And uh, I'm going to, once I make sure, like, I know that once he takes my money, it's going to happen. So, um, and I have to give him a down payment on this one. I can't pay it in full. It's expensive. But I'm going to do a, um, what do you call it? I'm going to do a um, sale, a live sale. And um, that way we can raise money for that. Hi, Diane. How are you? Melinda, the place card kit is $10 for two place cards. That's adorable if you need a Thanksgiving one. Or it could be for any time because you can make those into um, sunflowers. I love the sunflower, Joe. This has sterling silver on it. And isn't it pretty? Ooh, I'm losing my... I should dry it first, right? Josie, I forgot to ask you. Is somebody after me? I'm so sorry. I'm like your most... Troublesome little pixie. I'm that little pixie that gets put in the corner, I guess. I forgot to look. I usually try to look and see if there's somebody after me. That way I know if I need to move it along or if I can, you know, spend some time and enjoy. There she is. There's our friend, Lindy. Lindy, I think, was taking a shower, getting ready for her day. She's so busy all the time. No one else today. Good to go. All right. I'm going to... Um, do a little bit around these corners, edges. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. A, a circle doesn't usually have corners, does it? Maybe in my little Lisa world it does. But I'm going to go just around here because I don't know where these little craft sticks are going to live. And so I want to have just an edging. Um, I think this looks pretty so far. <laughs> what do you guys think? Silver and blue is like my favorite. Silver and blue. Haven't even gotten a shower yet. Oh no! <laughs> you were talking about a shower about an hour ago, my friend. It's always something, isn't it? It is. But thank God we're all good here and everybody's with us and together and all the good things, right? I'm going to stipple this a little bit with my brush. I've, unload I've offloaded a good bit of the paint, right? And so I want to give it that little silvery bit but now that I'm thinking I'm thinking why don't I just do my whole um, stencil with that silver that would be quite beautiful wouldn't it so I think I think it's going to just be silver and blue and then our pretty glitter and then if I have enough time I'm going to do that little um, that little uh, uh, taggy since Jojo said nobody's on after me so girl I'm going to fill that time I'm going to fill your time up it's always good to see Josie, isn't it? Mr. T is using my 
Oregon mug, huh? I'm drinking out of my Petey mug. But when he hunts on the weekends, I use my Oregon. Okay. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so I think this looks darling, darling. Okay, so I'm going to put these on. Put these guys on, so let's do that. I want this to be all the way at the bottom. Best way to do it would be put the glue on here, right? I mean, come on, Lisa. Come on, Lisa. Use your brain. Use your brain, girl. Put it all the way down. There we go. And I'm going to let it bite in there a minute. Sticky, sticky. There we go. And that will give me my bottom. We'll put this next one. I'm just going to put the glue again. I think that makes it easier, right? And then butt these two against each other. Quite lovely. I do like this sterling. I usually use um, Lisa. What? Uh, Owen. Uh, Gwen gave me a pretty organ mug, Lisa, and he took a <laughs> He did. You know, you can't say no to G, can you? He's such a sweet man. I'll have to send G a West Virginia mug. And he can have a little mug of love every day from his friend across the uh, across the border there. All right, so I think this is going to be super duper awesome. Isn't this cute? Okay, so you know me. I'm a little bit of a goober head, right? And so I want to cover up things I don't need. I want to cover up things. I need to find Lindy a pretty Sedona mug. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right, I am going to cover up this, little number 16. Did you give me number 16 because I'm sweet? Um, Josie, is that why? I'm going to cover that up. Let's put that down. Is that going to lay completely flat? Yes, it is. All right, so we're going to cover that because I don't need no number 16 on here. But, you know, if I did, it did. And then I'm going to cover up the hole. This hole is awesome because, um, I know, right? Um, you can use one of those little round clips and keep all your stencils nice and tidy. I think it, um, she's trying to keep me, keep me in check with my mess going on in my craft room. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cover up the present. Now this present you could use on something else too. You can just block the things that you don't really necessarily want in your project. But like, I like that little present that you could do. Sweet little tags. Like I always have, do I have it laying here? Or did I move it to here? I want to put my elbow in anything. Like I save these because I make them into tags. Like I punch a punch and like this could be a tag or a bookmark. So I could put this little present on here and punch it and make a tag. So maybe we'll do that just so that, um, you know, you can see all the things. I love this. Found the most beautiful deer ornaments at Hobby Lobby yesterday that would go with it so well. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm deciding on what I'm doing for Christmas with my tree and all that sort of thing. I'm trying to change it up a bit. I think I've told y'all I get sad at Christmas because I miss my parents. Me too, Lisa, only I don't think there's any help for me. <laughs> no, me too, girl. <coughs> See, you made me laugh and started my coughing going. All right. I am going to put this on. And I'm picking up a little lint from my shirt so that I don't accidentally. I don't think I'd pull up any paint, but I don't want to pull up any paint if I don't have to. I might tear this down and put a little tape up here. And then a little tape over here and a little tape over here. Okay. Woo, my nose is itching. So now my stencil is on, right? My decorations are in storage. <clears throat> I'm going to buy a small fake tree. I, I probably, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I won't have a real tree because I have two crazy cats and I think they would go bananas, so. I can't risk having a water basin for the tree and the cats tip it over on my, um, on my, um, what do you call it? Wooden floors. That would be terrible. You hear it? <laughs> I love this little forest sound stuff. I don't know. It makes me feel calm. 
I have my Lynchburg candle from um, Cindy. Snickerdoodle. I've got my forest sounds. I've got my coffee. I've got my paint pixie. I've got my friends. What more could I do? I'm going to buy a three foot tree and put it on top of furniture. That sounds awesome. I like that idea. I just kind of want a tree for the twinkle lights, you know? I don't need a tree tree, you know? I do like them, and of course we love Christmas, but a tree isn't the reason for Christmas, so um, I'm okay if I need to switch that up a bit. <coughs> <coughs> I was thinking of maybe doing a winter theme, and then it would be more like I could leave it out through January. Um, so we'll see, like snowflakes and stuff like that. Your candle is just about done. I'm going to look. I need to go on your... Can you put your link on here, um, Cindy, please? Uh, that way, I know I had people yesterday wanting to know about it. This candle, when I got it, it was so beautifully packaged. And just it's just a lovely way to um, set the stage for your crafting time. We'll talk more about that one day, about setting up our area. It doesn't even have to be a specific fancy area. It could be a small corner on a desk or something that you work at. And just make it special. And, like, I think that smell, scent, whatever, has a lot of, um, a lot of power. I really do. I love, you know, my favorite, absolute favorite smell ever is rosemary. I know it's odd, but I love rosemary. And, um, I have rosemary growing at my door, back door. And I'll go out and I'll just go out on the porch and I'll grab that rosemary and smell it and I'll often put it like on me. I think it's from when I was a child. My grandfather, he was uh, so special to me. My grandpa Farini, um, he was so special to me. He didn't live very long and so I'm, you know, missed out on a whole lot of goodness with him. But like, when we would go to his house, I would go straight to Grandpa and sit with him and love. He loved me and I loved him. He was my person, you know. And but when we would go for walks in the garden, um, my grandparents had a garden. They had a small garden up by the house that was for Grandma's tomatoes and lettuce and onions and uh, salad goods and stuff, right? And um, so she had it that, which it wasn't small. It was the size of a tennis court. And that was up in her yard, right? Up in her top yard. But they bought the property down below them. And they had a major garden that was like our garden for winter goods. Because both of my grandparents were from Italy. And um, they uh, always made everything fresh and they had all their vegetables. We canned, we canned peppers and tomatoes. We flash froze a lot of vegetables. She had two freezers downstairs. And it was kind of like a little uh, family, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a little food kitchen where you could go get whatever you want. And she'd make sauce and put it in there and sauce and meatballs. And she'd make, um, all the vegetables we would flash freeze pretty much. <clears throat> I helped with all that. Even as a little kid, I helped with all that. Picking it, um, shelling the beans and shelling the whatever it was, the peas, stringing the beans, doing all that. But when I would go with my grandfather down into the garden, whichever garden it was, there was always rosemary and herbs and um, marigolds. Right, because marigolds keep some bugs away and all that. But the first thing that he would do would be to get a sprig of rosemary and put it behind my ear. He would say, smell it, Lisa, smell it, Lisa, and I would smell it. And we would put it on our hands and we'd smell it. And then he'd say, you know, he'd put it behind my ear and call me Bella. Because um, he would always tell me I was beautiful. <laughs> And to a little kid with a lazy eye and a, uh, a brace on their leg, you know, and a, 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 I had a, a little brace on my leg, I had a build-up shoe, I had a lazy eye that had a patch, and every time I go there, he would tell me how beautiful I was. I mean, what more could you want out of a grandpa, right? But he would always put that rosemary behind my ear. I'm getting wishy-washy, right? Um, 
and uh and so I think that I I go back to that you know and um yeah see I share things with you and I get all wishy-washy don't I I'm a big old sap aren't I but uh, those are the kind of things that I love. And so, like, I have a rosemary spray that I'll spray. And, um, but I do believe that having scents in your, in your crafting area or even in your living room and stuff, you don't have to do I I always am I'm watching when I have a candle burning because I have crazy cats. And, but um, I do believe that it is such a good thing. Like, and it's like a little happy ritual or routine or whatever, you come in, you wipe off your table, you set your mind to what you're going to be doing and your intention to share art with other people and do your best to, you know, um, advocate for a great company. And then you light your candle and you turn your sounds on and you get ready to go, right? So that's how I do it at least. Because when I do it, I do it like... I try not to be thinking of anything outside the door if I can help it, you know? Because outside the door is my regular life, and um, inside the door is my, my little Lisa universe where I can be a, a pixie and create things and talk with friends and not think about, you know, a leak at an apartment or, you know, all the kind of crazy things that's going on in real life. So I use a Clorox wipe. And I usually try my very, very best, because you know sometimes I'm a messy girl. But I do try to clean my um, stencil immediately, right? Because that makes it so that you don't get that build up of paint that can make your lines not very true, right? We want to get that off. Oh, thank you, Diane. Um, and so anyway, that's what I try to do. Let me put something down here for a minute. I should put this underneath it maybe. I've wrecked this. These little towels from Timu, I don't know if you've ever bought these. They're worth it. They really are so nice for cleaning. I use it a lot and like seriously a lot with that back room being a ooh, mess from Helsinki. Um, I use these a lot and I can know that these are just for cleaning. Like, And they come in like three or four different colors so I use um, certain colors for certain things, you know what I mean? But these are really inexpensive, and um, I really honestly like them. All right, I'll have to show you some of my stuff as I, I'm going to um, finish up my closet room, and I'll show you some of the stuff and some of the supplies I used, because um, that might be helpful, you know? Okay, so that's nice and clean, <laughs> and... Um, there we go. Let me wipe my hands just a tiny bit so I can maybe not transfer more mess because, you know, I do that to a sort of thing, don't I? Okay, so we've got this, and I think it looks pretty magical, doesn't it? It's awfully pretty. I really, really like it. So this is kind of like your snow globe inside of a snow globe, but, like, if you wanted, you could taped off the bottom so it would just be this circle inside of there. But for some reason, I really like it. It's like a microfiber. And I just, I mean, they really, really do scrub. And they, I have been cleaning up drywall mess. And so, like, you can wring these almost completely dry. And I don't know. I just really like them. Maybe it's just me, but they're just a simple little. I think they're like a dollar for five. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I want to use this again, so I might dry this paper. I know it seems strange, but, you know, hey, I am strange. <laughs> Very pretty, the silver and blue. I'm glad that you like it. All right, so this is just so I can flip it over. Put this guy here. So now I need to think of what I want to do. And I think I want to get my, first of all, I want to put my little, brush my little teeny tiny <laughs> how cute it is put that in there first I thought oh my that's awful small but um, now that I get that that is okay right okay so now we're going to put this dab off and I'm going to bring some of these little stipples in I don't know if that's what you call this stippling I think it might be tapping <laughs> I just want some of this silver to be close to the 
this too, right? Alright. We move this brush around so that it's not like making a um, certain pattern, right? <clears throat> We're just tapping. Kind of gives it a little snowiness maybe I don't know so there's that okay they absorb good yeah they do they do I like them I mean get just one pack there's a dollar I think but I, I really I'm not much of a like advocate for cleaning <laughs> but if I find something that helps me and it's not expensive and like if you want to clean something that you know you don't want to like I would never use the dry the ones that I used on drywall I would never like wash a dish with them or something so I like keep the colors separate right I keep the colors separate so that I know that this is never to touch food right this is never to be in my kitchen I can use it to wipe up mess but I can never use it in my kitchen you know so I'm really careful now that Amon has leukemia like, I am so careful. I do not want, I, I try to use the microwave as least as I can. I will heat the stuff up in the stove and all that sort of thing. And I'm really trying to be very mindful of absolutely everything I do to care for him and, you know, our home. And so uh, that's what I thought because he's coming like pink, yellow, green, I forget what. And so I separate them out and I know what's what. And, like, I wash the cat's bowls with the green ones, you know? And so, like, I know that the green ones are for cat things, you know? And I just have a couple. And sometimes I'll snip the corner off. Like, if it's for the cat bowl, I'll get a green one and snip the corner off. And I know, okay, this corner missing one is for cat bowls. And then if I have to wipe somewhere near their litter box or anything like that, then I know that the ones that don't have the snips that I can use for that because I don't want to use that on their bowl you know that would be horrible and I wash all of it I wash it in hot water and I haven't bleached these yet but I keep them separate you know when I wash them so anyway I'm trying to be a good wifey anyway all right so there's that this is pretty much dry but I'm going to make sure for a little bit now uh Josie gave us some what do you call it some snow she gave us some snow and so I am going to use some of that on here but I'm wanting to know if I can I want to see if I can find one of my pens that might be waterproof and put a little bit of lines on here and I just bought this a sharpie and I think that it is it's a permanent so it should maybe work we're gonna find out just bought this Sharpie. Dollar Tree has Sharpies. Hopefully it works, right? I mean, hello. But uh, I'm going to put a little bit of marks on here, and we're going to see what we need to do with this. So cute. What about flicking some white on? I was thinking of that, too. I definitely was thinking of Holy cowsers. Whew. Lord help me, huh? Okay. So I'm thinking that that would be a good idea, too, for sure. So I'm going to just put a little bit of my mark making I don't know that it's going to show up very much. It's kind of, I don't know. Sometimes pen doesn't want to take. Oh, there it goes. Okay. But I like to have a little bit of marks on my stuff. And sometimes you can't really see them that much, but I know they're there. Right? And they make me comfortable. And they make me feel good when I do them. And so that's why I do them. And I just put a little bit around here. You could even write on this, you know, if you had the Lindy Tate flair, you could just kind of put Christmas, Ahmad family Christmas 2023, you know what I mean? You could do that for sure. Or you could even do it on paper and um, adhere it to this. But I'm gonna see about going around some of this, right? Cause I kind of want to see what happens. Cause I'm one of those what if people. I follow an artist, her name is Amy, and she always has you do the what if, and I think that's brilliant, you know, that is brilliant, because my mind, when I am creating, it's always being like, oh, what if I do this, what if I put the flecks of white, what if I, you know, make a red nose on this guy, what if I, you know, it's like endless, the little things that pop into my brain, and I know that, like, I'm not alone in that, that a lot of crick uh, creative people have that what if so you can kind of like she tells us to jot it down 
and I think that's handy because you can always do this over and over. You know, if you have some uh, little, uh, what do you call it, wood rounds. We sell wood rounds, but they're larger. <coughs> Sorry about that. I know that's loud. What a great idea for the family. I agree, right? It's a fine tip. And see, it just kind of brings out a little bit. I think there might be another one coming, y'all. <gasps> yeah! Oh, Lordy. I got the juices going, didn't it? Ooh, oh, Lord help me. Hopefully that crud is gone. I can still feel it a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. <clears throat> but uh, it's still there a little bit. But we're going to not talk about that, right? <laughs> we want it to go away. Go away, crud. Um, but anyway, you can kind of go around and do these things. I, I love doing this. And um, once I put snow on here, I don't know how that would work. So I thought, okay, we'll put a little bit. I might put like snow heavily in certain areas. Like I think it would be cool to have a little bit of that uh, snow, which is glitter that she gave us. And it looks like it's really pretty um, opalescent looking glitter that you can put it on strategically using your brush and, you know, put it a little heavier in certain places, right? And I kind of like the idea of that. And on this, you could even write things. Like, I could write um, Silent Night, Holy Night, or I could put, you know, um, do you know the Robert Frost walking through the woods on a snowy, walking through the woods on a snowy evening, I think it's a, um, beautiful poem. I had to memorize it when I was a kid. You could write parts of that. You could write things in here. I, I like adding words and scribbling to my art. Uh, that makes it me happy. I'm sure that everybody has their own thing. I'm not going to lie. This Dollar Tree uh, marker is okay, but I think that sometimes it picks up some of the chalk, chalk of the chalk paint, you know, and makes it a little bit that it doesn't want to be very um, cooperative, but I think it's good now. Okay. And you can kind of go in and around your snowflake. And I know this is kind of boring work for you guys to sit and watch, but you know, I want to get this in here before I put other stuff on. Although you can't write over top of that. Wouldn't it be a great gift for the kids? Only $10. I know. I really think so. And that's why I always say that like you could ship it to somebody else, you know, just put that as your shipping. You're going to pay to ship it anyway. So you could, um, ship it to your grandkids or to your, you know, uh, a friend that's crafty or a friend that might be a little bit needing to know, Hey, um, you're loved or you can get one for your friend and get, and then, um, get one for yourself. You'd have to do it separately or else get them both shipped to your house and send yours to your friend with some snacks and stuff and say, Hey, I'm going to mail you this and we're going to get together. Let's pick a night and we'll get together on FaceTime. We can't be together in person, but I want to, uh, to craft with you and um, do that, you know, and I, I love doing stuff like that, or grab a couple and have your friends over for 10 bucks, you can do a girls night in, I do that with my friends every month, and like they're coming on the 20 something, 23rd, and say, let's do a craft, right, and um, pull this out, and you guys can have coffee, and put a um, little, uh, what do you call it, Hallmark movie on, or something, you know, there's so many ways to have fun. And everything doesn't have to be expensive to be fun and wonderful, right? It's a great winter craft, not just for Christmas. That's true. All right, so I'm going to use force field. I'm going to use force field. Who doesn't love this? Like, seriously, let's take a second and look at this little tiny contraption here. Is that the most precious little thing? All right, I'm going to get this. And I'm going to fold it. This is going to be my glitter catcher. Glitter catcher. All right, let's see how we're going to do. I want to put a little bit extra on the roof of the house, right? So we're going to do that. And this little snowy bit right here. This little snowy bit under the deer and under the, right there. That's going to be there. Maybe here too, get a little bit here. You don't need a lot. Just need something to stick to it, right? Woo, losing my stuff. Losing my stuff. Grab my, oh, look how cute it is. Oh, so cute. Why do I love these little things? I don't know. Put that. 
where'd I put it? And put it down here, where I just wherever you put it. I'm gonna just dump this pretty much. And what I do is I get like another piece of paper or something. Let's pull this guy out. And I just kind of press, 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 press. And tap. Woo. And do you see how it makes those little snowy there you go, there's the money shot. Aren't those doors are too cute? So cute, right? Look, I like putting my snow strategically because you know. But you could do a light little um at least not want not. Let's put it back in the right thing. I almost grabbed this force field bottle. Okay, gentle taps. Put it back in. You could see it barely used any, right? Look, there's lots of magic left. I heard a crafter say once that glitter is the devil. I love glitter. I've always liked glitter. You know, I'm a sparkle baby. I don't care. I like glitter. Um, I've heard all kinds of stuff about glitter, but like glitter and me, we're ba we're buddies. We don't we don't mind each other too much. I'll just see if I can tap up and down straight. Don't when you tap. That's why I kind of like using a paper. Um, if you tap up and down straight, you won't smear it and get it everywhere and all that. But, um, yeah, that way you push it into your force field. Lord, now I've got the snoodle nose, right? Oh, Lord, help me. All right, let's get up in this tree. Put a little bit up in this tree, right? Put a little bit up here. Might need a little sip of coffee or something. I'm feeling tag on it. I don't want this to be happening because I got to work this weekend. <laughs> you just ordered four Christmas kits. Well, I know you'll put it to good use, Melinda, and you'll have a lot of fun and you'll provide a beautiful little class for people. Um, that, you know, it's like, I know that you make a little bit of money doing the classes, but like what you give to them is more, right? It's like Moss and 24 Garrett. I know, right? I used to use a lot of glitter. Like, I used to use, uh, before um, Moss and 24 Karat, I was always using glitter and twine. Glitter and twine, y'all. All right, so now see these little teeny pokey dotty snowy doodles? We're going to do some of those, right? I'm going to use the back of this. Let me get a drink. I'm like a hot mess express, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Some good stuff right there. All right, I'm going to use the back of this guy, and I'm just going to dot on top of the dots. <laughs> dot on those dots, girl. Okay. I could see doing this with um, kiddos. I think they would have fun with this. You'd have to watch because, like, the glitter. Oh. I used to be a teacher, so I know all the things that kids do with glitter. They think it's funny if you blow on it and it goes everywhere or whatever, you know. Kids are whack a duty sometimes, but like, um, you know, you might have to set some ground rules <laughs> for glitter. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so now I might, I might, I'm trying to see if I want to brush it. Oh! Wait, Lord help me. Did you see I almost put it in the on the force field? Now I do have more force field. But I'm wondering if I want to just put a little light touch here and there. I'm using my cat's tongue brush, which I would usually not do because I love my cat's tongue brush. I will have to really use my suds and get this out, right? But I'm going to put a little wash. I don't want to do too, too much, right? too heavy and just put a little bit of snow wherever it might land and stay. So we're going to give it a little magic pangle. My son used to say magic pangles. Like okay, we'll do magic pangle. Put that straight down and up. And it's just going to catch in certain areas a little bit, right? We're going to tap off. And there we go. Do you see how it kind of got a little bit here and there? I like how that looks. And so there you go. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I hope you're having a good, happy um, Thursday. All right, so let's put this back. We don't waste. Let me catch it on here. Let me get that under here and catch these. 
I actually have a glitter catching kind of little tray. It's actually for beading, but um, I've got so much stuff piled over here that it's not even funny. Okay, so let's close this so we don't make a, you know, a boo boo. This is the cutest little thing. Oh my goodness. I just love these little capsule things. I'm amused by small things. There is a science to that, that small things make you happy. All right, so basically, that's it. Now I want to make my snow globe kit. Oh, thanks, Lindy. Super easy, super, super duper easy. Let me get this force wheel out of my brush. I have the brush suds. That'll get it. You know, your brushes will be fine, right? Your brushes will be fine. But don't let it sit like that for too long, right? Okay, so can I do anything more to it? I don't know. I, I mean, I really kind of want to put... Um, something writing on there, but I don't know that it's going to take too well. It's it might not show up good, but you know, let's see. Let's try it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm in it now, right? I think that I might just try. It. See, I was going to put a mod family, but do you see it's very pale? So I'm not so sure I want that, right? So I might just kind of, where's my, my blue, I might just kind of see if I can cover it a little bit. I'm not worry too much, right? It's not going to cover too easy, of course, you know. It's okay though. I can touch this back and it'll be alright. I think I need a bigger Sharpie. I don't know that I have a good one in here though. The things, oh here we go. The things I do, right? things I do that I wish I didn't do. Yeah. I could write a book or maybe even two. <laughs> uh, how about that little rhyme for you? All right, let, let's see if we can do this. That's better. A mod. Family. Wee. Put a little heart because I love hearts. It's pale, but I will have to go over it a couple of times. I'm on family. I must put Christmas. I think I'll do it in print. Christmas 2023. How about that song? And I'll come back and fancy it up a little bit, maybe thicken it. I always try to heart, do my my dots with a heart if I can. But you can do something like this, you know, or you cannot. This is beyond oh, thought. I'm glad you like it. I really am. Now, you know you can find at Michael's and Hubba Lava, you can take this little guy with you in your purse before you walk, you make it. And they have those half, um, those little split ornaments, those little bubble ornaments, you know what I mean? Uh, that you could open them up. And so like you could get one of those bubbles and put it on here and make it have like a bubble over it. I've done that before. And I think that that looks really sweet. Now, you know me, I like to write things. So I will probably come in and write things. And like, you can wait until after Christmas if you want. And, um, or if you want to keep it for the winter, you know, you can um, write little memories, you know. And then, you know, you can put that on here. Like, um... Uh, Lindy was the angel in the school play this year, and Shiraz was um, on the drum line at the um, Creative Arts Center, and all the different things, and just put little messages in here, or else write it on the back, and then seal it, 
and then like you have your 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 decoration and then on the back you can have your memories written you know i like doing that because because we want to keep all this stuff in our mind but we sometimes can't and you can journal on the back of these and then seal it with your force field if you use a sharpie you could definitely do that now this does come with a ribbon but the ribbon since i chose to do blues won't work but like you can make this and put your ribbon on here wherever you want or you can put it and put it here and use it as a Christmas ornament or a lot of times um, I will put <clears throat> a little piece uh, a little bit of glue and put a uh, Chanel stem or pipe cleaner on the back so that I can hook it into my tree so like I'll put that pipe cleaner back here and that pipe cleaner is going to be the thing that's going to attach it to the branch like I'll flip a branch up a bit and then pipe cleaner around it and then this will just kind of nestle into my tree. Um, I think that would be really pretty to do. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do. You can put this on a little easel and put it up. You know, you can do a lot of things with these. So don't like see it as what it is. Think, see it as all the things it can be too, right? Um, you could put it on a stand and put it on a table, yes. And if you're really like super creative and you want to like um, make this double sided, you can grab these uh, little sticks at the Dollar Tree or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or wherever, and you can just do the same thing on the back, right? You just ordered you a candle. What scent did you get, Karen? I want to know. Um, you could do it on the back and that way like if you put it on your buffet it could be for either side right you just need to put another couple of sticks and i'm sure you can get those and it would be double-sided you know or else you can you know do it differently on the back put some um, pretty paper or something on the back and put it on your um island or wherever so it could be definitely double-sided now i am not done because josie said that there's nobody after me right and so I get it that I'm going to be long today, but this shouldn't take very long, right? Because I'm going to just use the colors I have, and that is Bon Benny Cocktail, and or use one stick per side. Yes, yes. Why didn't I think of that, Josie? All right, so I'm going to use the same colors, Bon Benny Cocktail. We have a kit, like a little set that you can get um, your paints and a, and a um, Metallic, so here you go. This, you know, you can get Von Benny cocktail and maybe I don't know what other colors you like and get your silver because silver and blue, like, is magical at Christmas. I really do believe it is. Um, and I'm going to just do this simply, all right. And we're just going to, I think I need more paint and I think I need to maybe loosen it a little bit with a spray. So I've got my water girl, Snickerdoodle Christmas memory. Oh my god spa day you have to tell me oh i want to know about spa day that sounds good i'm not a big cinnamon person for some reason it bothers me like um in my throat i don't know why uh but um i love the idea of spa day that sounds good who doesn't need a spa day you don't have to go to the spa to have a spa day you can have a spa day in your in your craft room I think that sounds like something I need to do I need to do right okay so you saw quick and easy Bon Benny went on right one nice little coat I did loosen it a bit because these little um, taggies banners whatever you like to call them they're a bit thirsty so if you want you can put just a spritz of water and it'll make it really flow down into that thirsty wood right Thirsty wood. All right, so there's that. Very quick and easy. Might leave this out just in case I need to do something because you never know. But there's this, and you can of course put on the back. A four pack of paint is thirty six fifty, and it's a saving of six fifty. So you can get your Bon Benny. You can get a white, you know, cream puff or um, marshmallow or um, saltwater taffy one of those maybe um chocolate souffle because ch brown chocolate souffle uh would go great with this and your silver and you're you know you're good to go right so anyway see i'm spending your money for you 
Yes, I'm being very hungry for paint and sealer. I agree. Um, so there we go. We're putting a little bit of the sterling. This is our liquid pixie dust in sterling. And it is a beautiful metallic. I'm going to go around my edges. Girl, get those edges. Okay. And we're going to go around this. All right. Try to get that. Might need to load up a little bit more. Don't be stingy. I was being stingy, y'all. A little bit of this paint goes a long way, though, so don't worry. You'll have a lot in this little ball. These bottles might be small, but they pack a punch, and you only need really one coat, so there you go. I like to get my corners a little heavier, right? And we're going to hit this, right? And I'm going to just come across and give it a little wispies. Is that a thing, wispies? I think so. Maybe stipple it here and there a little bit. Okay, so there's that. All right, and we're just going to use what we have in this kit. And I'm going to put this guy on here. Now this this is not going to match so good, but I want to show you how you can make a little um little what do you call it bow. So you might want to do a different color. I don't know why I picked this again, but I think it was because it's out. Cover up that hole, because y'all know I'm going to hit that hole, right? And I'm going to put this, let's put it down here a little bit. And put that right here. We have two spouncers, so and we're going to put that right here. And we're going to get this. We're going to get our little spouncer. It's a cute little thing, actually. I was worried because it was so small, but really you need small. All right? Josie knows what she's doing. Sometimes you just got to go with it, right? Trust. Did I? Yeah. I was thinking, because, you know, if you set this upside down, it's going to be wrong. <laughs> and that's the kind of things that I do. It's uh, two um, magical chalk paints, one liquid pixie dust. Okay. So you could get your, your Bond Benny and you could get a white of some sort, or you could get a Bond Benny and you could get the chocolate souffle and then you could get the silver. You know, you can make your own kits up, right? I'm sure you know what you want. There's so many good colors, right? There's so many beautiful colors. Um, I loved the um, green that Lindy mixed. I think it was sour apple and something to make um, jadeite, I think as she called it. I don't remember. She made these beautiful little ornaments. Like you can turn Dollar Tree ornaments into something precious, right? Okay, so there I did my, my spancers. You were worried that they were too big? <laughs> Whee, there it is. Merry Christmas. And you could go around this. It was a glazed donut and sour apple. I think it was. It was beautiful. She's great with paint mixing. I'm I'm learning. I'm learning. Right? She's a painter though, right? She is a painter by trade. She makes some amazing stuff with paint. You know. She's the painter. I'm the pixie dough girl. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna clean this right away. And then you could pass it on to the next person to make theirs, right? And there you go. What a perfect little gift tag. I agree. And you can use some of your um, snow if you wanted. Lindy's there. One part sour apple, two parts cream puff. There you go. That was awesome. So I would go around this with a pen. Let's see if I can do it. And this is just a regular pen. This is a Stabilo. A Signo Uniball. I love Signo Uniball pens. Or you can use your, um, what do you call it, Sharpies. Of course, Sharpies are always great because they won't bleed. This guy might bleed. But um, anyway, you can go through and make you a little tag, right? Now, if you did this in more of the regular Christmas colors, you can use your little bow, right? But I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, right? So we're going to get our bow, our little ribbon, because it's precious. And you could do that. Why not? 
Heck yeah. And so like you can make a mini stacked bow if you wanted, or you can make just a simple bubble bow. I think I'm gonna just kind of make a cute little, I guess it's gonna be simple. Okay, don't snip your finger. We're gonna catch that, right? We're making just like a little bow tie bow. Um, I'm gonna just get a little piece of wire, I think, for this. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what we need to do. Okay. I overlap it a tiny bit in the back. Now I just pinch it. Pinchy, pinchy. You can make maybe three bows, I would say, out of this, at least, around three. That's pretty cool. All right. There's my little bow, but we have to fluff him. I'm not a great bow maker, y'all. I used to do all that stuff and make wreaths and all that, but I've kind of like gotten bored with it. <laughs> you know, you you can only make like a hundred wreaths. I used to make them for my store and sell them. And then you wreath out, you know, it's like, ugh. And it's hard on my hands, so. Whatever's hard on my hands, I try to avoid. So there's a little cute little bow that you could put. Oh, my nose is like itching. And then you can get you some twine that you probably have left over from one of her kits because she really fills them up a lot. And we can put a little bit of twine and make a little tag, you know? You could put your person's name on it. You could do whatever, right? And what am I gonna put in the middle of here? It needs a little something, but I might have like a miniature teeny tiny rose. I don't know what I do with my hair. Let's see. I might just grab something from here. Because I've got like a little bundle of stuff. I might pick one of these little balls off of here. Because you can sometimes steal a little something off of something. Right? Let's pick one of these balls. <laughs> and put it in there. A little blop right there. Maybe. There we go. And put this little ball in the middle and the heat of that will make it squash down you could paint that if you don't like it being white but you can also put maybe a little sprig <laughs> a little spriggy sprig a little spriggy sprig maybe a little sprig there we go that kind of makes it cute you could turn that red if you want that little ball with some candied apple but I think that that will give you an idea. It's nothing major, but I think it's very, very cute. This um, this is a snow globe kit, and it comes with this, your sticks, your round, your uh, whatever randomly selected um, stencil you get, five inch, a three inch, that's what I used on here. You get the ribbon, you get force field, you get snow, and you get two of these little dudes, all for 10 bucks. So like, this is really cute. And so I was saying, if you wanted to get a pack of the little um, tags, they're five bucks, then you can use your little stencil on here, right? And um, you can make a little tag to go with it. Like, and you, I, I think these are cute. You could put them on wine bottles, around the neck of a wine bottle, you know? Get you some twine. I know you have twine in your stash. And all of these kits that Josie has, she overstocks them with so many good things that, like, you can save some of that twine, which I have bundles of stuff left, right? Because she's very generous. And um, use a piece of that twine and make you a little hanger to hang around. Oops, my, my fancy decoration fell off. But like you can make this so that it can go around the neck of a bottle of wine if you want to gift it or you know on a Christmas um, package as your tag and then they have a ornament you know you can print out their name with a you know your inkjet printer and make a little banner with their name on it and glue it on Sammy is crying for mama but um, there's a lot of different things that you can do 
to make this, you know, your own. And you're so creative, um, I'm sure that you can think of fun ways to do that. I showed how to use um, paper book pages with this. And so you could cover these tags with book pages and then stencil on your sentiment on there. But um, I think that these are cute around wine bottle um, neck, you know, the top of a wine bottle. I think that that makes a nice little hostess gift, you know? And um, so there's lots of opportunities to play with this stuff. There really is. It's your imagination, right? And your imagination in $10. And um, you'll have a fun little project. If you buy some of these little tags, you can make one big family project and then everybody make a tag and then go and put it on the Christmas tree. So like there's lots of ways to use your imagination and um, get a lot of bang out of your 10 buck project, right? And there's lots of sweet kits in our shop. You can check it by my link, I would appreciate that, but you know, there's lots of wonderful pixies and everybody has their pixie. And, um, but you can, you can use your creativity and make something together and uh, make some memories. And you can even journal on the back of these. You know, you can, if you're giving somebody a bottle of wine with this tag on it, you can um, paint this nicely and get your Sharpie and put um, five top reasons that I think Josie is an amazing human and put those on there and so then the person gets their ornament and they get a little thing that uh, they can reflect back on and say oh well this is um, really sweet that you know because sometimes we we don't know what makes us an amazing human and um, so you can send that to your friend and they can have that as a memory I think it's always nice to put something sweet like that on there and you can put your ear on here i would go ahead and go around all that with my scritchy scratch and make it cute and um anyway thanks for hanging out making this little snow globe kit and um i hope you have a good rest of your day you can always come to paint pixie if you are bored and you need something to do or um, someone to connect with there's always somebody kind and loving here that wants to share their love of crafting and um, every pixie I've met have has always been generous with their knowledge and kind-hearted and so you can find comfort in this page and um, crafty ideas too so take care and I hope you have a good rest of your day and a happy weekend and I'll see you again here next Thursday at 11.